What's going on YouTube? It's your boy MB in the place to be. Back with uh, the updates on the box Chevy. Big D's box Chevy. So you guys, some, might be some uh, a few of y'all probably went through. Maybe I can give y'all some assistance on uh, this part right here. See this? This comes from when somebody leaves something on the inside the hood and smashes the hood down. And we got like a little buckle. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little buckle on the hood. It's like this. You know, like that. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how you can put a, a nice little sturdy piece on here and uh, get you straight for a temporary use. Uh, I recommend you just to go buy another hood, but. Uh, it's my boy Big D shit. You know, it's kind of hard to find these Chevy hoods in Chicago. So what I'm doing is uh, gonna repair it. So you know, I kind of give you a give you a close up what I'm talking about. See that? See how the hood is down, but you still got this bulk. See it's like bent right up in there. So I'm gonna show you today how to repair it for temporary use. Like I said, still gotta be cautious because it's broke. And uh, give you updates on the Chevy. So this is how we got the Chevy so far. We got everything smoothed down. We got everything smoothed down. You know, the way we want it. Got the dent removed. It's a little low spot there that I gotta take care of real quick. I just found that. Um, basically, I got the little bubbles. Sand down it, covered. Uh, the little dent that was over here, you know, it's decent. The rust that was around there, got that all off there. Took off the uh, pen striping. Okay, here's what I'm, I'm telling you about just covering up your lock. If you're gonna just cover up your lock, leave your lock in there. Grind it down as I did here. Just grind it down and leave it in there. Disconnect the terminal. In the inside the door, grind down, leave it there, fiberglass, and your body pillow. You know what I'm and right here, grind this down. This is ready to get filled in now. It's already grind down. This was a crack area. I'm back with the box heavy. Yeah, everything is covered with the bundle and everything. And now I just gotta wait till everything dry. Got the trunk and all the spots done. Get back with the trunk. Get that over. See uh, what else we do around here. Cover the door up already. That's gonna be sanded next. Did the stripping on the side of the door. We'll get the molding out. Just we did that. Filled them in, ready to be sanded. All oh, this ready to be sanded. sanded. All the low spots have been filled in. As you can see. I'll see you on the next one. When I will be masking this boy down, well, actually, I'm gonna take a, uh, gonna take a, uh, call it. I'm gonna lightly sand it. So, this is what we got so far. Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna show you what I did here. I took a piece of heavy gauge steel, metal, whatever you wanna call it. And um, I cut it and I placed it here. I drove screws in there and I grind it down like so. Like I said, I took a piece of nice gauge metal. It's kind of thick. It's kind of it's real hard. It's kind of hard to flex. I put it there where it's weak at, the point where it's bent there and up inside the hood. Then I'm going to take another piece and do the same thing again. So what that's giving me is a secure something real thick. Then I'm going to, well first I'm going to weld I'm gonna tack well all this around here to give me more strength. And then I'm gonna put this on top of there. Follow the same procedure that I did there. And uh, 
do it again. Then I'm gonna raise the hood and do the same thing on the other side. So this is part one of how to repair a hood. Part two is next. Peace out. Come out. I'm out of uh, 